The QoS, or Quality of Services tab within the user profile, can be used or is most commonly used for rate limiting. And the use case would be, for example, if we look at the guest traffic again, we maybe want to limit a specific user type to a lower data rate. Uh, we don't want them to consume all the resources that are available. Uh, we want the AP to police the traffic down to a minimal level so we protect other devices from being affected uh, or from that device starving out other devices. Typically, this is how you would protect your uh, corporate devices, say, from guest devices. Um, rate limiting can also be done upstream. It doesn't need to be done on the access point, but that capability is implemented within the access point itself. Um, you can then further rate manage and um, reduce the rate limits on a per client basis, or you can do it as an aggregate for all users uh, within that same user group. So for example, you can, you can dedicate 2 megabits or 20 megabits per second for all guest devices on that AP, or you can go further down to an individual device level and say, okay, each device only gets a small portion of that. Uh, it gives you the capability of, of doing that. And, either policing based on a user group or on an individual device level. The next tab in the user profile configuration is called availability schedule. And availability schedule controls when certain users can access the network resources. Uh, basically, it will prevent users from connecting to the network during certain periods of the day and allow them to connect during the other periods of the day. For example, uh, maybe in a school environment when you know you have tests going on or when you know that the students aren't allowed from accessing network resources uh, from 4 p.m. until 8 a.m. next morning, you can create availability an availability schedule which says from 8 in the morning to 4 p.m. students are allowed to connect, whereas from 4 p.m. till 8 a.m. Uh, next morning they are not allowed to connect, while the teachers can connect all the time. So this is how you can use user profiles and different groups of users to have different availability schedules uh, to connect to the network, to connect to that SSID, uh, to connect to that wireless network and use those resources during different times of day. URL filtering is the final tab of the user profiles. However, please note that the URL filtering only works when deployed on extreme branch routers. It doesn't work when deployed on access points. So the, this feature is uh, branch router specific. And what the URL filtering does, uh, the branch routers are running a very similar version of software than the APs and they also implement a deep packet inspection engine and a forwarding engine. However, the uh, engine can be used to determine which URLs are being accessed through that router and certain URLs can be blocked and traffic can be dropped. By blocking URLs at the user level, different users can have different restricted sites uh, assigned or blocked, and you can create granular policies of what is actually allowed and what's not allowed in terms of uh, HTTP, uh, HTTPS URL access. And you can create, in combination with the IP or um, layer 7 application-based or IP-based firewall, you can create some very complex security rules of how your different users access resources through your network. You implement the URL filtering by either whitelisting or blacklisting sites, or you can also uh, use categories of sites to either uh, allow or block. Um, so creating a rule, either whitelist or blacklist, works very much in the same way. You can add one URL at a time, you can import a CSV file of URLs, or again, you can use categories uh, of URLs to allow or block certain groups of, of URLs or web applications. Um, again, URL filtering only works on extreme branch routers. It doesn't work on the APs or switches. Um, and you can uh, either use whitelisting or blacklisting uh, depending on what you want to do and what kind of policies you want to implement for your users or user groups. So when you configure user profiles as objects, um, you're halfway there. 
you need to somehow tie in those user profiles to something we call assignment rules. And assignment rules, together with user profiles, can create some very powerful network access control policies within Extreme Cloud IQ platform itself. Um, there's different ways of how you assign a user profile to an actual device or a, a wireless client. Uh, one way would be static, where you would map an SSID or a port on a switch and you simply map it to a user profile. Uh, that means all devices connecting to that port or to that SSID fall into that same user profile and are assigned the same security policies. However, usually we want to have something more dynamic than that. And there's different ways of doing it. And assignment rules are the way to do it. Um, you could say a group of users, maybe everybody from marketing, gets a marketing user profiles with different security rules and the assignment rule will be dependent on a radius attribute. Uh, so if you use 802.1x authentication, the radius server will return a filter ID attribute, and that attribute will be mapped to a marketing user profile, whereas a sales group will be mapped to a sales user profile based on a different radius attribute. And we have this example on the screen. So we have uh, user profile name marketing that corresponds to VLAN 8. The user profile marketing is assigned based on an assignment rule that says if the radius server returns attribute 8 in the filter ID, we will map that user to a user profile called marketing. And same thing applies to the user profile called sales. If the radius server returns an attribute 10, we will assign this user profile to we will assign this user to a user profile called sales, which corresponds to VLAN 10, and it also carries with itself any other security policies configured in the actual uh, user profile configuration. The radios at radius attributes used are configurable. You don't have to use filter ID. Um, there's others you can use. You don't even have to use um, radio server. You can do this based on PPSK identity. You can use this on type of the operating system. You can even do this based on location. So in different locations, you will assign users into different user profiles and so on. So the assignment profiles together with user profiles are very, very powerful when you want to create an access policy or network access policy uh, for your network. Uh, and they almost function as a, um, as a very high level network access control system. Um, obviously, you don't get the granularity and all the features in terms of integration with other systems of a full-blown network access control system, but within the product itself, you already have some tools that allow you to implement network access control uh, from within the Extreme Cloud IQ platform and leveraging the Extreme Cloud wireless access points at the edge.